Tech for Seniors present the website of the week with Huey Poplock. This week's website of the week is a twofer. We're going to cover informed delivery for the U.S. and my mailbox for Canada. Here are the links. What is informed delivery by USPS? Digitally preview your mail and manage your packages scheduled to arrive soon. Informed delivery allows you to view grayscale images of the exterior, address side of the letter-sized mail pieces, and track packages in one convenient location. The images are only provided for letter-sized mail pieces that are processed through the USPS's automated equipment. When my mailbox notifies you of mail headed to your registered address or community mailbox. This includes both letters and promotional mail with packages to come in a future release. By downloading the My Mailbox app, you can choose to view your incoming mail through the app in daily email updates or both. The USPS, or United States Postal Service, the informed delivery login looks like this. All you need once you've set up your account is your username and password, and you can sign in. Once you do, you'll see how many mail pieces you have for the last week and how many packages. So let's go to Thursday where I had four and you're going to see three of them there. And at the bottom it says that there's a mail piece for which we do not currently have an image that is included in Thursday's mail. Here's a close up of the three pieces of mail. So I have a pretty good idea what to expect. Now in my community, we have community mailboxes. They're not not at each home, so that we have to go there. So I may not go there for a couple of days because I've seen what is sitting in the mailbox. Now, when you look at packages, it will tell you not only uh, what's expected, but what was delivered. As you can see, I had several packages. It tells me exactly what time, if a package is expected on, a, on November 9th, I can track on Monday this website and look to see when it's delivered. Once it's delivered, then I can go down to the mailbox and pick up my mail and the package. Now, notice that the one due is in transit. Let's take a look at one of those packages and the route that it took. This was an item that was already delivered, but you can see that it was delivered on November 1st. It started out October 26th. It started out in Busfield, Michigan then went to Detroit, then to Memphis, then to Tampa, then to Sarasota, and then to Bradenton. Took quite a trip. Some other things that you can do with informed delivery. To sign up for informed delivery, step one is you create an account. You use your personal USPS.com account or sign up for one. Step two, you protect your privacy and personal information by verifying your identity and address. They actually send you a letter with a code that you'll have to verify your identity. That way they know have access to that mailbox. And then you can receive notifications from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. And you can sign up for free. Here's what it's like to sign up. Not much. It asks for your address. Of course, they need that. You then verify your address. If it's not exactly the way the post office requires it, you have a choice of a couple of ways to uh, change that. You can then continue, and then you verify the address. And then you also have to, of course, click that you've read and understand the terms and conditions. And then when you click at it, it's ready to go. So again, you create an account with your username and password. And then there are some security questions. Then you add some contact information. You can get communications from the, the Postal Service and their partners, and you agree for that. As a final part of this, you can get a Daily Digest email notification. You can get separate email sent to you, so your household receives a letter-sized mail that's processed through the United States Post Office. You'll get an email. Notifications are not sent on days when there's no mail to be delivered. You can specify what you want to get notifications for. Now, if you're in Canada, 
you have to go to the Canadian Postal website. It's not evident because it's still in beta, but to get the My Mailbox fact, this is the website. So what is your mailbox in Canada? You sign up for My Mailbox today to see your mail before it arrives. When we spot new mail headed your way, we'll notify you of the sender and the number of mail pieces. Get a head start on your mail before it arrives to your registered address or community mailbox. So how to get started using My Mailbox? Follow the steps below, and if you run into any challenges, contact them at uh, canadapost.ca. If, if you already have the Canada Post app on your device and you download the My Mailbox beta app, it will replace the existing Canada Post app. Step one, download the Test Flight app. On your iOS, and this is only available on iOS, currently during beta, the download button will take you to the test flight page where you'll follow directions. In step one, get test flight. You will download the test flight app, then return to the test flight page and follow step two, join the beta. Tap on the start testing, which will open to the test flight app and allow you to accept and install my mailbox. Keep test flight on your device once you have My Mailbox set up on your phone, Test Flight will keep you in the loop as updates for the My Mailbox app become available. Remember, this is only available right now on iOS. Step two, sign in and create your Canada Post account. The app will ask you to sign in to your Canada Post account. If you don't already have one, you'll be asked to create one in a few easy steps. Step three, find out if your mailing address is eligible my mailbox is growing to new areas across the country. However, it's currently only available for certain mailing addresses. Sign up for My Mailbox to find out whether your address is eligible. If it's not, you'll be added to our wait list. We will reach out when your address becomes eligible. Step four, get consent from the other members of your household. My Mailbox sends you notifications about mail arriving at your address, whether the recipient is you or someone else in your household. As part of the registration process, Canada Post will send a notice in the mail giving everyone in the household the chance to consent to the service. Learn more through our terms and conditions. Step 5. Start checking your mail through My Mailbox. Within one to two business days, you'll receive the updates on mail coming to your address. Step six, choose how to see your mail through the app, your email inbox, or both. My mailbox updates are available through the app as well as daily emails, so you can decide how you prefer to be notified of your incoming mail. Wonder what's in your mailbox? A sneak peek at your mail, inbox or app, and mail that fits your routine. What types of mail are included in My Mailbox? Through My Mailbox, they'll update you with incoming mail from types of organizations and businesses that send account updates, statements, bills, checks, and contracts. We'll also notify you of mail containing promotions and special offers. Note, certain types of mail are not part of this beta, but are planned for a future release, including packages, flyers, magazines, and oversized mail. Be an active participant. Keep your account up to date. For example, if you move to a new home while you're using the beta, you can update your address at any time in the My Mailbox settings. During the My Mailbox beta, we'll be looking for ways to improve the service. We'll send you an email giving you an opportunity to complete a survey. If you're interested in sharing additional feedback over the course of the beta, we want to hear from you. Again, here are the links. And that's it. Thank you. I'm Huey Boblock. Tech for Seniors presents the website of the week with Huey Poplock.